We are looking at section 6.3. So our essential question is, what are some of the characteristics of the graph of a logarithmic function? So exploration one, it states working between logarithmic and exponential form. So explain why each of the following logarithms are true. So looking at these values in here, how could you possibly use the values that are given to you um, and set them up in a true statement using exponents? So take a few minutes and look at those and see if you can determine what pattern there is. So pause the video for a minute, take a peek at these and see if you can figure out what the relationship is using exponents between these values. Right, so after looking at the exploration up top, hopefully you looked at all the values that were given to you. And if you look at it in terms of logarithmic form, quite often we just say log, you'll see log and the base with some number and it's equal to the exponent if we were to have written it in exponential form. So exponential form is taking the base, so what we see is the base up here, raising it to the exponent, and it's equal to the number. So you should have seen up top in exponential form, 2 to the third equals 8. That's a true statement. 5 to the third equals 125. 3 to the fourth equals 81. 2 to the fifth equals 32. 4 squared equals 16. And 6 squared equals 36. So using logs or logarithms are another way of expressing exponents. So we can move it back and forth. Example one, rewrite each equation in exponential form. So we're gonna use the rules that we just looked at. <clears throat> we're gonna take the base, raise it to our exponent to make it a true statement. So our base, raise it to the number that's over here our base, 12, this is our exponent, equals 144, and our base, 1 fourth, raised to the negative 1, is equal to 4. And if you're not sure about that one, double check it in your calculator. So we have 1 divided by 4, um, Parentheses raised to the negative one, hit enter, and it gives you four. <laughs>